Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So these are the 10 items that I cannot live without being a makeup artist. We're gonna start with number one. The first product is Lux Cotton. And I had given you the little story behind this last year where I had bought in bulk at Costco those cotton rounds and I had been using them for years. And one day I was like, why do I have to have cotton that scratches my face every day? Like this is not enjoyable. And I remember going around my eye thinking, I feel like I'm like making micro tears. It's just so scratchy. It's just not great. So the Sephora sale came along and I was perusing the website and I saw Shiseido had their cotton. And I thought, I don't know, should I, should I really buy this? I mean, I'm buying cotton. That's like, you know, like a little bit pricier, but I thought I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. And I got to tell you, I was blown away. I was like, wait, <laughs> what? I've been using cotton that's literally scratching because I'm buying in bulk and it's obviously very inexpensive. And now I'm using like this luxurious. I felt so amazing. I looked forward to my routines again because I was like, oh, where's my my cellar water? I just need it. I need to just feel cotton on my face. It is such a game changer. Now I thought that all cotton like Lux cotton would be the same, like, oh, it's going to be, it'll keep getting better and better. So I bought the Chanel cotton and I was very disappointed. First of all, I didn't like the box that it came in, but it didn't seem as like fluffy and soft and beautiful as the Shiseido. And I was so surprised. Save yourself from buying any other ones and just buy the Shiseido. The second product that I cannot live without is the Creme de la Mer from La Mer. This is the most beautiful cream. Yes, it's expensive. It does amazing job on your skin. If it's dehydrated, if you are needing radiance, it's a great uh, makeup primer. I love this cream. I've been using it for years. I always have a stash of it, as I have mentioned before, because if I maybe lift my skin a little bit when I do my waxing, because you know I'm always waxing my lip and I'm waxing, I just kind of get, you know, goes from my lip to my chin to where some other places. I will use this cream for healing. It has the miracle broth in it. I take a Q-tip and I pull, take out just a little bit. I warm it in my hands. So that's how you're supposed to apply it. And I press it into my skin. Now, you know, I've been dealing with a lot of inflammation here. It's really inflammation. It's not melasma. It's none of that. It's not from the sun. I'm still exploring on why, because I know exactly when this started happening. So I'm still trying to think if it's what I think it was, but I don't have that redness when I'm using this La Mer cream. It's just incredible on my skin. My skin doesn't have all that texture that I've talked to you about where I was having a lot of texture. So that's why I think really less is more. Really try to figure out, you know, with your skincare, like if, is it working for you or is it working against you? Do you need to just use one product, just one moisturizer and see what happens to your skin? I really enjoy this cream. I have a little travel one also, but this is a great makeup primer. It just really turns skin around and is very, very healing. The next product that I cannot live without is my Almay oil-free makeup remover wipes. These I live by, I do so much with them when I'm doing makeup, whether it's on me or it's on someone else. They are so easy to use. I get them at CVS. I usually buy them when it's buy one, get one 50% off. And I buy the larger where it's 40% more jars. And I use this to not only clean up residual mascara that stays on your face that you can't get off, even though you are using maybe a double cleanse, whatever. I really like getting around the eye, making sure it's very clean. They're biodegradable now. Also, when you do your eye makeup and you know, we do our eyes first, I like to clean up. I'll just fold it in half and I'll clean up so it's nice and crisp. You cannot get that if you're trying to layer powder over eyeshadow that's fallen down, what have you. I use it for that. I use it to like clean off tweezers if they have glue, you know, eyelash glue on them, depending on. I mean, they are the best investment. I cannot live without those. My next product is a duo product. It is my mascara because it has these little teeth and it is a volumizing mascara. So you can get to the base of the, the lash, the root, and just really pull out and really almost create a, a, like a lash line, like an eyeliner with your mascara. But you know, the big game changer for me for 2022 was using the Luminous 
L'Oreal mascara base. So this is your primer first. I mean, it's, it totally changes your lashes. It's amazing. So a lot of women use two different mascaras as in black mascaras, but I like using the primer first. I literally can't live without this product. Noticing consistently throughout the year how different it made my lashes on camera. So this is such a great investment. This is something that I love because I can really pull out the client's lashes if they don't really have a lot of lashes. This is a miracle product. And then taking a volumizing with a volumizing mascara with the right teeth. So you're going to be able to grab all those baby, baby lashes and pull them out instead of having a big fluffy wand where the mascara is going everywhere but the lashes. The next product is Bright Lips. I cannot live without a statement lip. And for me, that is more important than ever because I have silver hair. And, you know, growing up in a teenager and in my early 20s, I did not wear a bright lip all the time. I was a little bit more intimidated with having fuller lips and putting on a bright lip and drawing all this attention to my lips. My dad said something to me one time where I came out when I had a red lip on and he was, he said something that was just so derogatory. And I was like, mom, and my dad just said, I can't believe you just said that to me. And my dad's like, what? He's like, I never see you with red lipstick. I was like mortified. So I, I had some like experiences where I always just shied away and I always would wear light pinks or I would wear, you know, things that like neutrals. I just never wanted to call attention. But now having, you know, really no color, I need to add in corals and reds and pinks and everything like that. So right now I wore cocoa from Chanel on my lips right now. And then I did embrace my embrace, believe it or not, I wanted to take it down a little bit. So I used my embrace lip gloss over it. So it gave it a little bit more, not so, so bright, but it gives me this color. And I, I really liked it with this little sweater that I have on from J crew today, but I love like upgrade is my favorite. Like this is a beautiful gloss. It's not too much. It's not too opaque, but it's not too sheer. So I get a really beautiful pink. That's like bright and fresh. I love this. If I go into something more, this is matte. I don't tend to go to matte, but a bright lip. This is NARS Dragon Girl. Also, I have from Chanel Pirate number 99. This is a great red also, and it definitely has some moisture to it. So it really goes on nicely. What other ones do I really like to do? Oh, actually I can. When it comes to pinks, Besides, if I wanted not something so bright as the upgrade, I can go into Franny. This is another lipstick of mine that I have that's really nice, brings out that like really pink petally, but it's not too much, but it's giving color. So I'll go from corals, reds, pinks, but I know, and you can see this on my Instagram, that it makes a world of difference. You can even see it here on YouTube. When I come, when I show up and I have like a nude pinky lip and it's just kind of like, you know, very natural and just very nude. And then I come on and I have like an actual color. It's totally a dramatic difference and it really just I, I feel brings so much more life to my face so I cannot live without a statement lip. Another product that I cannot live without is the right makeup brushes and you don't need to have 20 makeup brushes and you want to make sure your makeup brushes are always clean. I get a question about this all the time and I have gone in have a couple different videos on how to wash your makeup brushes but this is my makeup brush kit that I designed for you. I have now 10 brushes. They are wonderful, 100% vegan, simple, easy, like they do their job. They literally do the job for you when you're applying your eyeshadow. Don't have a lot of guesswork. They uh, all of them say what they are. So shadow brush on here. This is called the blending brush. So you don't have to worry that you're going to pick up the wrong brush. But as a professional makeup artist, when I'm on location, I got to tell you in my, I had my whole brush kit, right? I had a brush belt I wore and I had, I don't know, maybe a hundred brushes. And I literally knew exactly what brush would do what I needed it to do on the eye or the contour or the face. It's so important because if you don't have the tools, it's almost like trying to paint without paint brushes. You can't do it. So when you find yourself the right brushes that work for you. It is a complete game changer. I could not live without makeup brushes and makeup brushes that actually work and aren't frustrating, aren't too big, aren't too small. This is something that if I didn't have them, I really couldn't do my job. The next product that I can't live without, I've been using it for years, is the Gua Sha. So I did come out with my Gua Sha last June. I came out with a stainless steel. I made a magnetic box for you because I wanted you to have, you know, feel glamorous and keep it on your vanity with your instructions on the inside. You have a travel pouch. And then inside you have your stainless steel Gua Sha. You drop it, it's fine, it's not going to break. Beautiful, I priced it at $29. I want you to use it. It doesn't need to be extremely expensive. And you have this beautiful Gua Sha, and this is my favorite shape. So 
As I'm aging, I need to really drain, sculpt, depuff, work my muscles. I need to do is whatever I can do to my face. So this is something that I always use on my face at night, in the morning, depending on how I'm feeling. I really like taking the time for myself to just drain. And I do see a big difference. I've had so many emails coming in from ladies that are saying, like giving me their before and after, loving the tool, they're consistent with it. But this is something that is so easy. You can travel with it. There's nothing you have to do. You don't have to, you know, make sure it's charged or you don't have to make sure that you have, you do have to have an oil though. You want to make sure you have an oil because you have to have that slip on the face. You don't want to just use a moisturizer because then it, it absorbs and you're going to, you don't want to drag. You really want this to glide and really be, you know, just really nice and smooth on the skin. It's not something that it takes a lot of skill. You can watch tons of different YouTube videos. I show you my videos on how to really sculpt the face and, and to work on different areas. This is the best thing. I love it and really couldn't live without it. The next product that I cannot live without is eye drops for redness. And I learned this as a model. You know, we always had these super early, early call times. Our eyes would be red or I might have not gotten such great sleep the night before or what have you. And eye drops are the best. Now I know a lot of people have different ones that they love. I found really great results with these that I use and I don't use them all the time. I use them when I really need them. And so eye drops though are a total game changer, especially when I remember in 2020, when I was really doing a lot of my own photo shoots and I was up at the crack of dawn doing my makeup at like four o'clock in the morning and wanting to get to the sunrise on the beach and what have you. And oh my gosh, I took like one look at myself and I was like, oh, you need eye drops. Like, whoa, why are your eyes so red? The inner waterline was really red. So you know how I, I combat that with a white pencil or a nude pencil. But I was like, if I didn't have eye drops, I, I don't know what I would have done. My next product that I cannot live without is color correctors. And I have showed you my Just Peachy, which is a peach color to brighten the skin. And I've showed you my No Redness, which is a mint green that cancels out redness. So I have these two beauty sticks that I, I'm going to link a video here that really explains and shows you how I use them. But when I have redness, I have to first color correct. And this is a big game changer because it doesn't lend to having to wear so much makeup. If you can correct the color first and then be able to just apply the right amount of concealer or foundation, it is such a game changer. So I love just peachy, like underneath my eyes, I do come down because of that pigmentation that I have or redness. I'll do a little no redness. I'll do a little just peachy, depending on, it's like almost like a mosaic. So around my nose is always red, like in the morning. So I'll just do a little bit of the no redness, my chin sometimes. I blend it in. It can go from a medium to full coverage. It is buildable depending on, it's like a creamy to silky finish. These are something that, again, if I'm using it on myself, I can't live without. When I am working on a client, it is such a game changer. And my last product is, of course, you know that I'm gonna say this, my serum foundation. And this is really my original serum foundation that I started with years and years ago, which is the La Mer. This is the Soft Fluid Longwear SPF 20. I absolutely love this foundation. Yes, it has increased in price, it is expensive, but I use so little of it. I've told you when you get down, you can take this little cap off, use your spatty daddy. I will link everything below that I talk about and you can get out every single drop in this glass bottle because you can't cut it like most, you know, if it's in a, <laughs> if it's in a plastic tube, I'm always cutting them. But when it comes to the glass, don't worry. I know exactly how to get out every little scrap of this beautiful serum foundation that has the miracle broth in it. Your skin just looks like perfection. You use literally, I use maybe a drop, maybe a drop and a half use too much and you're wasting the product. This just glides on the skin. It just looks beautiful. And it is something that I cannot live without. So is there a product that you can't live without that's not on my list that you use all the time? Like if you like had, you know, someone said, okay, wait, Barbara, you can only have these products. What would they be? Leave them below. I would love to know what you were using. What are your must haves? I mean, these are mine as a professional makeup artist because I could do anything and everything with these, even if this is all I had. So I would love to hear what you have to say. And until my next video, I'll see you later.